Parents can communicate their personal feelings about undesirable programs, both by discouraging their children from watching them and by writing to their local television station or to the program's sponsors. The public doesn't have a voice. Clearly, not all programs need to please everybody. We do have a choice of programs, and we also have a choice for ourselves and at least for our younger children of watching or not watching. There is an off button on every set. Your body is composed of trillions of cells, lots of different types of cells that make up different organs and other parts of your body. Your body is also where ten times the number of bacteria call home, sweet home. But don't be afraid; these bacteria do more good than harm to you. And besides, just in case you wanted to strike up a conversation with your tenant, you and your bacteria do have a few things in common. Parents need to take control of the television viewing of preschoolers and children of early school age. A workable technique is to make a simple but firm weekly plan as to what program will be permitted and how much time overall may be spent in viewing. Any child's weekly schedule normally involves a certain amount of time for school, naps for younger children, outdoor play, and indoor play. There should not, therefore, be great amounts of unfilled time when the child gravitates toward the TV set. By beginning so early, he knows that he has plenty of time to do thoroughly all the work he can be expected to do. All his work having been finished in good time, he has a long interval of rest in the evening before the timely hour when he goes to bed. After sound night's rest, he rises early next morning in good health and spirits for the labor of a new day. We have outfitted it with the space lab built by our European partners, and used it before the era of the space station to do scientific research. We used it as part of our partnership with the Russians, which is still continuing. First, as part of the Mir space station, where we actually prolonged the useful life of Mir by several years through logistical supply visits with the shuttle. And now, of course, we're using it to build a new international space station, which is a huge international partnership.
While killing gorillas is already illegal in the country, declaring the subspecies as critical endangered would probably bring more funding and support for saving it. Protecting the entirety of gorillas' 7,700 square mile territory would no doubt prove impossible. But Dr. Plumtree and his colleagues are talking with the government and community leaders about establishing two new protected areas that would encompass 60% of the remaining gorillas' habitat. The shuttle was designed to be a space truck. It's a multi-purpose vehicle. We've done a tremendous number of different things with it. It's the most versatile space vehicle that has ever been built. We've used it to launch satellites. We've used it to repair satellites in orbit and put them back into orbit. We've used it to capture satellites and bring them back to Earth for repair. In 2005, donor countries agreed on a call to harmonise their practices. Since then, aid officials have complained that too little has changed on the ground. Conferences of donors in developing countries still tend to be dominated by a small group of North European government, with the US often absent. Using more than 50 interviews, award-winning writer Danny Danziger creates a fascinating mosaic of the people behind New York's magnificent Metropolitan Museum of Art from the Aristocratic. A Zurich director of museum, Felipe de Montebello, to the curators who have a deep knowledge and passionate appreciation of their collections, from the security guards to the philanthropists who keep the museum's financial lifeblood flowing. A university is a lot more than just classes and exams. University is a concept that offers you a host of possibilities to develop both academically and personally. Find out about different projects, clubs and societies that are in your university. You will definitely find something you are interested in. Trump has threatened to declare China a currency manipulator, but experts say he has little legal or economic basis to take such a step. 
He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave a move. That could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations. To understand the past, you have to be able, as far as possible, to think as the people in the period you are studying thought. The example of what it must have been like to be a peasant in the Middle Ages is used. However, sensibilities change over time and we can't completely throw off the mentality of the present. Therefore, every age will have a slightly different perspective on the same period of the past, no matter what the facts are.